Okay, let's go ahead and get into the stock market technical analysis. We'll look at the broad markets, some individual trade ideas, we'll wrap up. If you're finding value, please drop me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in the private member group, check it out, link in the description below. Okay, uh, we've got triple Qs, guys. So I've got support on this daily chart right about here. Okay, we're coming down into that support. We got a little farther to go to the downside um, <clears throat> into that support. So I don't know, maybe we get a bounce here, maybe not. But in general, I think we're going to hit that support level. There should be buyers sitting there. It uh, doesn't mean they have to be. And obviously, if you get a break of that trend line, that's a more that's a more major sell signal. But as of right now, I'd expect there to be at least some some sort of a reaction along that trend line there uh, with buyers sitting there. So that is really it on the triple Qs. Now, if I go to some of the components of the triple Qs, Nvidia being the one I've been really focused on. <coughs> Um, NVIDIA, you can see here on the daily chart, there's your support. This is the trend line I was watching. Okay, and we just broke, we really just broke yesterday. And today, gap down, confirming that sell signal. Now we are hitting some support right here, some minor support. Uh, you can see that basically we had a kind of a support shelf and then a reaction there. So, and we're getting another reaction today. So, you know, a little bounce here would make sense, but I don't think the bounce is going to be too major because here's the reason why. There's a lot of hot money in NVIDIA. Uh, you've got pretty much everyone and their mom piled into NVIDIA long. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of sellers, all right? There's a lot of potential sellers. Uh, and usually when you get, you know, when there's a rush for the exits, not everybody can get out. And so typically you're going to see uh, pretty impulsive selling. So I actually am leaning on the side of the bounce, if there is a bounce, being pretty minor. And then ultimately, maybe even another gap down. Uh, and the selling is actually, I think, just picking up. Now on the daily chart, you've got more major support there on NVIDIA. So that's where I believe we'd be heading down there about 96, 97, somewhere right in there. Um, and then that's where I think the sound, you know, that's where the buyer should be sitting at uh, for a more uh, sustainable bounce. Google, Google had a bearish rising wedge, talked about it for, you know, last couple of weeks. Uh, sell signal right there uh, yesterday. Well, yeah, really yesterday. And we are breaking down. So again, downside target on that one's about 162.50. Um, Tesla's hanging in there. Um, this one, you know, it's not a short uh, for me because you have this long-term downtrend line right here. We broke out. We back tested. We're holding that support level. Now, I do think it, that's going to fail, but until it fails, I'm not interested in shorting. So that's that one. Now, Apple, Apple had, Apple has some kind of a little minor uptrend line right here. We just gapped down and broke it. I think we're heading down to the more major trend line down here all right so apple i believe is heading down there uh buyer should be sitting there microsoft obviously breaking down some you got some support down at 434 ish right in there and then there is a more major trend line uh just below that as well you can see right in there so that's there's some support there so that's where i believe microsoft is heading meta so I want to point this out. I, I think the top, the long-term top or a trend top is in for Meta. Uh, this one, I've been talking about it for a while, but you have this big upward move right here. Okay, nice clean trend line. Then we gapped up on earnings report or AI. I don't know what it was. Traded up here for months and then gapped down. That created your island cluster top right there. Okay, then on that gap down, they were managed to rally it up, pop those recent highs just by a couple days, run a bunch of stops out for anybody that basically, you know, had their stop set right there. And then boom, nothing but selling. Equally, we had this minor uptrend line right there, and that broke. Okay, and the entire time we've had negative divergence building and building. So it's indicated that the momentum is drying up and this, and that's what told me that this rally here was very likely a stop rate, especially when they popped it above here, put in a new divergent high, um, and it just seemed like a stop rate. So I talked about that on my channel 
And um, sure enough, so far, this thing from that kind of stop rate action is down, you know, 13%. And again, island cluster tops come at the end of extended uptrends and you, they're typically longer term tops. So I'm viewing this as a top now. So I don't think we have any business being back above uh, this level. If we get back up here and start daily closing, that's an obvious stop. Okay, at that point, you'd want to stop out because the stops have been cleared out on this stop rate. So if you're back above there, it's time to stop out. But in general, at this point, I think it's sell the rip. Okay, I think it makes sense to add on rallies into resistance on this one. Um, and that's it. Now, we got the 200-day coming up. And again, I do believe we put in a longer-term top and we're heading much, much lower. So... I'm sticking with this trade as a short. Here's your Amazon. Again, on Amazon, you've got some minor support right here. And boom, sell signal today. This also recently, this price action was a divergent high. See the momentum just dropping? And yet we pop up, put in a new high, run a bunch of stops, round up some more bulls who don't you know, pay attention to divergences and just follow price action, and then sell it down and break support. And we have a sell signal. So in general, I'm seeing a lot of sell signals, either recently triggered or triggering today, obviously, uh, across the board on the on the market leaders, the mega cap tech stocks. And in general, the market is not going to go anywhere. And, and in fact, it's going to go where these I, where these mega cap tech stocks have gone. So in general, I think that the market has topped. We're seeing some rallying and the narrative right now is there that there's money flowing out of mega cap and going into it's like small caps and some other stuff. I don't really care about that because it, we're, these are so heavily weighted across the board in so many different indices that if these are coming down, they'll drag everything else down. It's just mathematics. Just like these as they're moving up, you know, you, they, the indices will move up and they kind of pull things up these act as an anchor for the entire market. So I think that money transition uh, story that's going on uh, is just short term. And I believe they'll take notice. Eventually IWM will start to sell down because of the, the mega caps. And so here's the IWM pop, the small cap pop. If I look at the hourly chart, you can see we have a short term uh, time frame. I could maybe move this down like that. We could say that, give it a benefit of the doubt basically, and you could say that we've got this uptrend line that we're still holding. So you'd wanna see that break. I'm starting to put in negative divergence on the RSI, nothing on the PPO yet. So uh, maybe a little more work to do, but I'm on watch for this one to start to break down as well because, you know, and it might take a couple days because there's still that narrative that there's money transitioning um, and so that you know has to kind of play out, but in general, I am on a watch for this one to start to break down as well. And if that happens at that point, there's really not you know we should see those mega cap tech stocks uh, selling off. We'll see kind of a broad based market sell off. Um, financials, J.P. Morgan still looks okay, but here's Schwab. This one just completely tanking. Uh, this was a short that I called out. Now we're approaching the major target on this one. So this one, you can see this was your bearish rising wedge. I talked about that for a while. We then broke, flagged out for months basically, and then in a period of pretty much two days, it's taken out, you know, we're down here, pretty much taken out the entire year's worth of, worth of gains in a period of two days. So this is how the short price action typically works. Um, you know, that's why I talk about, you know, when I'm, you know, when I point out shorts, stocks typically go up eight, eight out of 10 days, nine out of 10 days. Most of the time stocks go up, they grind higher, and then they wipe out all those gains, those, you know, all those gains that they've had in just a, that one day, that very short period of time. And this is what we've got going on here. This thing is down from the gap down because in general it closed at support and then gap down, it's down oh, 15% in two days. The major target would be the widest part of the wedge, which is right here. And you take that at the point of the breakdown, which is there, and that sets us up for a move down to about 60, 61 bucks. The low today was 62.50. So in general, getting close, the risk reward is no longer very favorable to remain short. 
Um, so you definitely want to start to tighten up your stops, protect, you know, cover if you're, you know, if you're holding out for the exact level, then fine. But it's in general, it's getting pretty close. So I don't think it makes sense for for that to hold out for that last little bit, although we might get there. Uh, JP Morgan, which is the king of the financials, um, is approaching what looks to be some resistance. That's this trend line right here. We still have negative divergence, so we're basically just putting in a new divergent high. So I think it's actually favorable as a short around current levels, could go up a little bit more. Um, obviously, this trend line you know, is up another half a percent or so, but it's you know half a percent. I mean, you, you, know, you don't usually want to wait for the exact tag of key levels. So that is a favorable short in my mind. Although, you know, no sell signals yet, we are rallying into resistance with negative divergence. Um, so keep an eye on that one. Uh, I think it's worth a shot right around current levels. Quick little update on some long trades. SoFi, again, hitting the first level of resistance uh, on this long. This has just been a really worked out uh, quite nicely. So on this one, you can see resistance, resistance, resistance. So that's the level I had marked out. It was about 789, hitting it today. So Again, I think there's probably a pullback due. Um, I think there's likely, you know, the major target of the move is from this bullish falling wedge here. And that is a push up to 917. So that's obviously the, the major target. So I think we're probably going to head up there and hit that. But hitting that first level of resistance, I could see a, a kind of a pullback at current levels. Um, so whether, you know, whether we get that pullback or not, you know, <laughs> that's kind of what the chart's telling me. And then we also have this. This is one I just pointed out this morning in the private member group. I'll throw it out uh, to you guys as well. MOS. This is a uh, very nice looking chart. You've got <clears throat> a bullish falling wedge here. All right. Nice, clean, bullish falling wedge. Big bullish divergence. Been building for a while. Momentum has been building and building while price continues to go down. We've been looking for a buy signal or a breakout and I think we have it today all right there it is on the daily chart breaking out um, so I would look for this to push up to the 200 day and again more a lot higher the widest part of the wedge on this one it's about right there there's your breakout point and that sets MOS for a move up and that's what my red line is up to about 40 43 ish is the measured target Okay, and that would be that reaction high right in there. You can see there's that was a former resistance. There's some nice support right in here. All right, there it is. So that's our target on that one, and I think it's just started. So buy signal on that one. GDX, um, again, this one, you've got this downtrend line. I'm looking at the daily. It's kind of shows up right there. Um, I can get rid of this one. But on GDX, you've got this clear downtrend line. And you do have a breakout for sure. I mean, that's a breakout. But if I go down to like the hourly or even actually the daily, you, you do have some negative divergence there. That breakout is a divergent high, which tells me I think it's going to fail. Okay, that's the way I'm leaning right now. I think this is going to be a false breakout. It's going to fail and fail hard. And we're probably going to come back down to, you know, uh, kind of 32, 50. And potentially the bottom of this wedge way down here okay so and if I look at the hourly on this one you can see it's starting to roll over you've got this uptrend line you popped up made this new high just yesterday but it's still it's divergence it's negative divergence momentum is dropping while price is moving up we're now seeing the selling coming in so we need to break down, you know, this level right here, it's about 37.70, that's support. That's the point of the breakout. So you need to see that fail to really signal a false breakout. Until we get then, I do think we're heading down there. But yeah, that would be the level that I'd be looking for a breakdown to signal that, that false breakdown and, and much more downside. And semiconductors, SOXX. Breaking down today, my trend line, you know, I have a little violation of the trend line right here. So if I adjust that trend line, kind of just capture that that low, you can see even capturing the low, we've still broken down today. So that's a sell signal on the semiconductors, um, unless they can recover that trend line, which is possible. But as of right now, it's a sell signal. So uh, keep an eye on that. And uh, there's your negative divergence. 
right there on the daily chart. So we'll watch this one. I mean, the main thing I'm looking for is I'm assuming it's a sell signal. And then if they can recover the trend line, maybe we have another push higher before we get kind of that final sell signal on uh, the semiconductors. And that would be consistent with NVIDIA, going back to NVIDIA, because you can see NVIDIA is basically sitting right there at that support. That would be consistent with NVIDIA maybe pushing up or even back testing that trend line, something like that. All right, so that's a possible scenario. I don't throw that out. Um, and so we'll, de we'll definitely kind of watch for that. Uh, final trade idea, PGR, you can see on this one, you've got this clear uptrend line, all right? Support, broke support here and back tested for many, uh, you, know, you know, basically weeks, <clears throat> months. Um, and then, uh, and then yesterday, big, big bearish engulfing candle. Today, they're ramping it right back into resistance. But this bearish engulfing candle still holds. So in general, this is the top. We treat that as the top. And, the you know, this is a rally into resistance, which is an objective area to, to short. So if you didn't take a short on the bearish engulfing yesterday, this is another objective entry right here looking for more downside. Uh, and really not, you know, you just would want to stop out if you if they can ramp it back above here, get, start getting daily closes above the bearish engulfing, then, you know, it's not the top. But until then, that is a uh, that's signaling the top and it, it's an objective short basically right now. So I'm going to get the video out, guys. Drop me a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.